Promoting global health has long been a shared goal of the international community. When the plague hit Europe in the 14th century, about a third of Europe perished in roughly 18 months time. That plague created a lot of institutions that had never existed before. The notion of sanatoriums, of special quarantine centers, of having border checks for people coming through with diseases. At the dawn of the 21st century, the AIDS pandemic would give global health efforts a new importance as a matter of U.S. national security. Vice President Gore and then U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Richard Holbrook came to the U.N. Security Council in January of 2000. For the first time in history, an issue of public health was brought to the Security Council for deliberation. What President Clinton was able to do was to understand, I think better than many people, the various parts of what our national security was about. Uh, that it wasn't just about having a strong military, which is obviously very important, but understanding that the conditions in other countries affect our national security. The watershed moment was President George Bush's State of the Union address, January 28, 2003. I asked the Congress to commit $15 billion over the next five years, including nearly $10 billion in new money, to turn the tide against AIDS in the most afflicted nations of Africa and the Caribbean. It marked a moment where the U.S. was committing to move from millions to billions and to put millions of people on antiretroviral therapy. The President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR, represented the largest ever global health initiative dedicated to a single disease. He had that vision that the United States could play that catalytic role in fighting AIDS, and he implemented it. Uh, and we're all the beneficiaries of that. Millions of people have been saved by PEPFAR. It said somehow, we're gonna go there as a collective U.S. government, bringing together the strengths of all of the agencies. And we're gonna go from 50,000 people on treatment to two million people on treatment. A hundred years from now, people will look back and realize that we lived through one of the great pandemics of uh, global history. Death toll from AIDS as a percentage of population, as a gross number, really is one of the most terrible things the world has seen since the Black Plague of the Middle Ages.